My two inch penis is not the only thing on my body that's short and stubby right now. My armpit hairs are also very short and stubby because they finally grew back from when I used a cream on my pits last week. So today, let's use a facial razor to shave down these armpit hairs. This was actually the main method that I used to shave my pits when I was growing up because I have like super long armpit hairs normally and in the summers in California, I would wear like a tank top and my mom would be like, oh my gosh, like you need to shave your pits. So this was actually what I used before like any remover creams or like stuff like that that I use now, as you know, in my visual guides. Okay, so our first step is we are going to grab Gillette's shaving gel and lather this on your left hand so you can put it on your right pit. Earlier I tried to like lather um, shaving gel on my left hand on like my left armpit and it just was not working. Oh my god, it just literally fell to the ground. So we're going to redo that. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's okay. So now we are going to lather this all over my right armpit. Obviously I used a bit too much, so I do have this dirty laundry next to me to wipe things because I am in my room. Usually you would do this in the bathroom and you'd have like paper towels and like towels and stuff like that, but I am in my bedroom, so that's step one. Step two, we are going to just gently shave downwards. I personally go very gently and I also go against the grain because I find that that's the most effective way to achieve like a hairless look. I do the same thing for my face, for my stash, and for my beard. My friends that are guys are always like, oh my gosh, like you're not supposed to, you know, shave against the grain, like you're supposed to go with the grain but I respectfully disagree. I actually think going against the grain, if you're very careful and if you use a lot of shaving cream, I think that's actually the more effective way. Anytime you have like excess shaving cream on the razor and like you have excess hairs stuck on this razor, um, you wanna like remove it. If you're in the bathroom, you definitely just wanna like run this over like like the sink and like under the faucet so like the water can like wash down the tiny hairs and the excess cream but if you're not in the bathroom just do this <laughs> with like a paper towel or like any piece of clothing really make sure you don't like cut your hand though like we do not want to be emo like this is not kevin in high school okay like this is this is real Anyway, once you're done with like the downwards motion, you wanna start going like side to side and like left to right. You don't wanna go again too like crazy or like too deep because you could irritate your skin and like literally cut yourself. And that is no bueno, it's no bueno babes. No bueno, no bueno. Once you're done with shaving, again, if you're in the bathroom, you know, you could just take a rinse or like wet like a paper towel and then like dab it, but we are not there. So I'm just going to grab a paper towel and just literally wipe everything off like that. And this is the final result. So I think that this is a good method, obviously, to achieve hairless pits. It's also very comfortable. I do not feel any pain. I'm also used to doing this, so that's why I don't bleed. I actually like bleed more when I shave on my face because I'm like usually just waking up and then I'm like, because I shave every morning. That's why I'm like hairless. My guy friends are always like, you have no hairs. Why do you think I have no hairs? I shave really well every morning. But basically, every single morning, I always bleed a little bit because I'm always like sleepy and I'm always like, just like mindlessly shaving and then I always have like bleeding dots on my stash and like my beard. But for the pits, no blood today, babes. So anyway, I will put the link to these products, the razor and the gel the Amazon links to those products at the links below. I did get these at Costco in bulk, so if you don't wanna get these in bulk, just check out my Amazon storefront or like the links below. 
Thank you so much for watching. This video is not sponsored by Gillette, but Gillette, let's change that. Hit me up, kevin98leonardo at gmail.com for any business inquiries. Thank you so much again, you guys, for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Again, I will put other links down below as well. So like if you want the links to my visual bottoming course where I do have extra visual guides that I can't put on YouTube, check that out. I also have my discreet douche kits down below as well fully discreet, shipped right to your doorstep. And I do have the links to my cameo so you can book a personalized video from yours truly. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next on my channel. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Oh my God, my computer just turned off. <laughs> Thumbnail time. My floor is dirty because I dropped stuff and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me flexing. Not my nose itchy. This is not comfortable. <laughs> Okay, love you guys. <laughs>